okay so in order to create a new catalog as i said it has been captured in the transport request which is good and uh, make sure you are under catalogs section click on this plus icon so it will prompt you to create a catalog either standard or a remote option so remote we have a couple of other details but uh, let's go for a standard uh, catalog creation let's say as a custom manager apps and ID as Z C U S T M T R save so as you can see the custom manager apps the title has been created you can change our uh, already title whenever you want but the ID will not be changed okay so once uh, once it is created the ID will be cr created as it is okay so right now we don't have any uh, tiles in here but I would like to copy from SAP standard catalogs so the purpose is I don't want to give all these three tiles to one manager okay so I just want to create these two tiles or else like even a couple of other tiles from HCM uh, sorry employee uh, group and as well as uh, two apps from this manager groups so let's create a custom uh, catalogs and group and we will assign those uh, four or five tiles in here okay so once you select uh, once you created a custom catalog now go back to the SAP standard catalog hold the tile drag and drop on create reference so when you mouse over it so when you hold it and mouse over it so you will see these two options coming you can either delete or you can create reference so it's always SAP best practice not to delete any SAP standard uh, content. So we can create a new custom stuff and copy into that group or catalog and then you can modify it and uh, change it accordingly what, uh, as per your business requirements. Okay. So let's, uh, I, I just want to add this approve, approve leave request into customer manager apps. Okay. So all I do is just drag and move it on create reference so when I release it it will pop up saying which catalog you want to put it in okay so we created customer manager apps select the first one as you see the number one has been shown up here okay so it is really important when we move uh, any tiles or catalog uh, catalogs here so any tiles from one catalog to another catalog along with the tile it is also important to move the target mapping so without target mapping the application will not work so we need to check what is its respective target mapping so as these are just three tiles we can easily identify which is our right up right target mapping for example um, approve leave request so this is a leave request approve and this is an this is a semantic object and this is an action required but to make sure whether we have uh, if it is like 20 or 30 applications so how do we choose the right one so click on the tile it opens the properties of all the um, you know of, of, of its style and it says you know what is the tile name subtitle keywords icon and this is a service URL this is an application where the <coughs> the app has been stored and the semantic object leave request approve action as an approve so these are the different uh, you know properties of its approve leave request tile so just make sure uh, when we move target mapping from one catalog to another catalog always check which is what is your semantic object okay so and also its respective action so please remember in this case it is leave request and approve now go back click on the target mapping leave request and approve okay so select that 
and click on create reference which is at the bottom okay create reference and again it pops you where you want to create so I want to create in my catalog which is customer manager apps so as you notice now it is changed to two so which means in my catalog I have one tile and its target mapping okay so if you notice one and there is no target mapping and you will not see the application in your in your group here so always remember uh, an application should have its style and its respective target mapping so let's go back and add one more approve timesheets select your catalog as you see reference for tile approval is created in this catalog this message is important uh, this will tell you that you know the changes has been saved in your transport request if you don't specify transport request and sometimes you will see in pop-up message saying there is an error okay and uh, now let's move the target mapping for approved timesheets so let's check its semantic object and action approve okay so let's go back semantic object time entry approve okay and click on create reference <coughs> move to customer manager apps that's it so we have created two tiles from SAP standard and its respective target mapping is also moved here so as you notice if it is a reference then you'll see the reference boxes has been selected so in the tiles uh, if you see the border line as a dotted lines that tells you that this application this tile is a reference tile so the original tile is is residing somewhere else which is this group with this catalog okay so how to break the reference so let's open the catalog and as you see this is a reference style message at the bottom okay so always make sure if you want to break the reference just change something on this application for example approve time sheets instead of time sheets just a time sheet and then save so it will throw you a message that changing the configuration breaks a reference do you want to still save the changes so I would say okay so as you notice there is a difference between this tile and this tile so it is still dotted because the reference is still not broken and here this is not a reference tile anymore so if you want to check you'll see there is no message at the bottom so any changes on this application will be you know the, the reference uh, point will be broken okay so I would like to also add a couple of uh, uh, employee related tiles so for example like people profile create reference move on create reference select your catalog so I don't know there uh, I don't know its respective uh, semantic object and action so let's go and check what is its semantic object open the tile and its semantic object is personal profile and display so let's go check personal profile display in the target mapping personal profile display so this is the easy way to check to make sure we selected the right target mapping and click on create reference over here okay so each app will have one tile sorry for each catalog will have one tile and as well as target mapping so in this case we moved uh, approve timesheet a people profile approve leave request three tiles plus three target mappings okay so we have done with uh, creating a catalog with with some uh, tiles in it now how to uh, create a group so let's go and select this tab groups 
click on this plus icon at the bottom on your left hand side say custom manager apps Z cost MGR group save it if you don't want user to personalize this group you can uncheck it but by default I, uh, it's already been checked so that's okay yes, save it and as you can see there is a custom manager apps group has been created so I have catalog and I have created group but group doesn't have any tiles in it okay so in this case this manager HCM is a group name and these are all coming in, in within the catalogs okay so we just created Zcast MGR uh, group as an ID and a custom manager apps as a, a group name so let's add catalogs to it click on the plus icon here and select your custom created catalog which is the first one okay so as you notice we move three apps in there and you can see all those three apps so either you can select any uh, any one of one of these three apps or all of them if you want to have all three apps into that group so just by clicking on this plus icon okay so once this is done go back and you will see all these three tiles has been shown up here in the group okay so all these changes please make sure all these changes uh, are captured in the transport request this one so we are good with that information and uh, we created a catalog we assigned SAP standard tiles to our custom created uh, catalog and we moved all these uh, tiles into our group so how to assign uh, this catalog and groups to a new user okay so let's go back to <coughs> GUI let's create a role Let's, let's assume that this Z underscore custom underscore manager is our role, the single role. Apps. Okay, so give some description and uh, click on the menu tab. And you'll see a context menu on this button transaction. So click on that insert node and select SAP Fiori tile catalog. Okay, so there will be a pop up which saying assign tile catalog. Choose the catalog ID, which is our Z underscore cust manager. Okay click on the stick icon and similarly we have to assign group which is SAP Fiori tile group C cast manager group okay. so we are we have assigned one catalog so so group and as well as this is a catalog and this is a group okay so we have I just want to recap the steps which has been done we created a catalogs assigned tiles to a catalog we created group assigned tiles into it and we created a role this role and we have assigned both catalogs and groups to it now if any user who is having this role will automatically you can see that uh, uh, group in the fury launchpad so i'm just assigning to myself click on user comparison 
let's save it so go back to the browser come back to home screen just refresh see you've seen custom manager apps this is a group which is having all these three apps okay so this is how we create uh, catalog groups and the uh, role and how we assign that to a user So once these changes are done, um, just make sure that uh, you can release this transport request and uh, the transport request will have the camp changes which has been done recently, like this customer manager apps. So <clears throat> this is a simple configuration of uh, how to add uh, catalogs, groups and roles to the users. I hope uh, you guys understood uh, how to do these activities now. So, thank you for your time. Bye.